Summer's in like 13 weeks. And I don't have abs yet? This is a problem. I feel the abs coming in already. Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time then. I just been living online, my city don't show me no love and that's fine. Fuck local radio. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Nick, aka Nick Too Nasty, and we're back at it with another video. And today I'm going to be talking about what I'm doing to get ready for summer and how I'm going to get shredded to the bone. No, I'm not gonna be like 5% body fat. Let's get into the first thing that I'm doing to get these six pack abs by summer. So I like to get 10,000 steps a day just so I could eat more and it helps me lose the weight faster, but yeah. So the second thing I like to do is work out at least once a day, whether that's hitting two body parts or just hitting chest by itself. This helps burn more calories so I could eat more and it makes my muscles stronger so so when I get leaner my muscles will pop out more. Alright, so the third thing I like to do is just drink at least a gallon of water a day because there's creatine in my pre-workout and if I don't drink a lot of water, I could do damage to my body if I'm taking creatine. The fourth thing I like to do is read for at least an hour. It helps my brain actually think a little bit and it just gets my mind off things and it's a good de-stressor and you get to learn about stuff that you may not know. Um, pick books that are good for you and things you want to learn. I used to never like reading because I used to read the English books that I didn't really care much about. When I pick up a book that actually interests me and motivates me to keep reading the book, that's when I like reading. The fifth thing I like to do is listen to music for at least like 30 minutes a day so basically when I work out and a little bit after um shout out to the Tesla boys they know who they are this playlist does not have one skippable song don't believe me alright wifey Jean was the first one that came up let's go again know yourself if you're reading this too late by Drake no complaints Metro Boomin millions Young Thug, two, a little Uzi Vert, the, the list could keep going on. Just know we got that fire playlist. And number six, the most important one, the diet. If you do not have a good diet, you are not gonna come close to having abs unless you have freaky genetics, which not many of us do. So do not try to do ab work workouts if you're like 30% body fat it's not gonna work <clears throat> you might strengthen your abs but you're not gonna see them it's all about the kitchen the kitchen makes your abs the gym doesn't the gym helps strengthen them high protein meals and low low calories so you get a lot of protein but very minimal calories because it's all about calories in and calories out for your diet. So number seven, so I weigh myself every single morning when I wake up because it's the same time. You don't want to weigh yourself before one day you don't eat and then another day you wake up, eat breakfast, and then weigh yourself. It's going to be different because you just ate. So weigh yourself every single day at the same time. This is my scale. It's just a regular health meter, nothing too special. And yeah, weighing yourself helps me a lot personally because I get to see, oh, do I need to lose more weight this week? Or it lets me see if I'm on track for my goals for the summer. So I might gain a pound 
in a week, I'm like, oh, I'm supposed to be cutting, and I'm supposed to be losing like a pound and a half or a pound a week. Um, and it'll tell me if I did that or not. All right, so the last final thing I like to do is I like to have a goal not just for losing weight, but for what you want to do in life. Whether, even if you're like 13 years old, you could still make a goal to what you want to do. Um, I currently am passionate about this YouTube, so I make goals on what I want to do with the YouTube channel. So I want to hit 100 subscribers by next month. I'm going to try to make that possible. That's a big goal for me because I'm only at 50 subscribers right now. Um, but I, I believe in myself, hard work pays off, that's all that you guys should know, and yeah, follow your dreams, man. I don't know why people think it's so corny when someone says follow your dreams, I'm like, don't you want to live your dream life? I don't get that, but I mean, hey, I'm gonna do me, and you guys do you, always be yourself. Alright, that's gonna be end of the video. Wasn't much to it, I just wanted to talk to you guys a bit, tell you what I'm doing to get ready for the summer. Um, not too much, just basically some regular day in the life stuff. You don't need a magic potion to make you lose weight, it's just all about calories in, calories out, and stuff like that. Do your research and everything will be good. We all trying to get this summer by, um, this is my first year trying to get in shape real good shape I've always been chubby my life and now it's time to be shredded I appreciate everyone that watched the video um, subscribe if you're new because we're trying to hit a hundred subscribers by next month as I said it's been your boy and I'm out Peace. Right out. Now I ain't got no kids yet But this right here's for practice I hate to get the seats in the bins wet But that's how good your ass is Make an old man get his glasses Make Wesley pay his taxes Then follow your moves all week on Twitter Probably make a gay nigga reconsider